I'm Jill, and I'm here to give you an introduction to both schema comparison and data comparison tools in Visual Studio 2013, which support SQL Server and Windows Azure SQL Database. Aptly named, Schema Comparison provides the capability to analyze and compare database schema, along with presenting the results in a visual and highly configurable manner. It can also calculate the actions necessary that affect the change upon the source. It supports databases, DAC packs, and database projects. Data Comparison compares data between two existing databases of the same schema and reports the differences graphically. It can also run the script necessary to apply the changes. Let's take a look at the tools inside of Visual Studio 2013. Here inside Visual Studio, I have a SQL Server database project uh, for my company database. This is a simple database that just has employees, a view of those employees, and a stored procedure that adds the employee. So if I want to compare my project to the database um, that I'm using for my development, I can use Schema Comparison. I right-click on the project, click on Schema Compare, and it brings up the Schema Comparison window with the project pre-populated in the source. This is because I launched it from the context of the project. In my target, I can select the database I want to target, which I will target my dev database. I click OK. And if I want to set any options before I do the comparison, I open up the options window, and I can choose the different comparison options or the type of objects that I'd like to compare. I'm not going to change any options right now. I'm just going to do a compare. You can also launch the schema compare from the tools menu. If you go tools, SQL Server, new schema comparison, and that will allow you to, change, to compare against two databases. In my comparison, I now have my results of what's changed. You can see that I decided that uh, in my project, I wanted to change the table to employee instead of workers. In my dev uh, database, I have the workers table that will be updated along with the view and the stored procedure that depend on that table. As I click through the results, you can see highlighted what the differences are. So I can click the update to apply those changes to my database. And I'm sure I want to update. As the schema compare is in progress, it opens up the data tools operations window where you can see the progress of your schema compare and the results. If you'd like to see the script that the schema compare uses, you can click view script. If I recompare, you will see that all of the results are the same now. So now that I have my uh, development database updated to the same schema compare as my project, I also would like to update a test database that I'm using. I've already updated the database um, for purposes of this demo, but the other thing I'd like to do between my development database and my test database is make sure that the data between them are the same. So the tool I'll use for that is the data comparison tool. To launch data compare, you go to Tools, SQL Server, Database Comparison. Here, I can choose a database. I'm going to choose my dev database. And as my target, I'm going to choose my test database. I want to see all the different records to compare. So I'm going to click Next. It's connecting to my servers. And it's going to tell me all the tables and views that can be compared. Right now, I have data in my employee table that it's going to compare. And it does the comparison based on the primary key uh, between the tables. It's going to do the comparison with the primary key. As you can see, I can choose to compare different columns uh, within that in table. I'm going to compare everything. Go finish. And the results of my data comparison uh, are shown in the grid. You can see that I have one record that's different. I have two records that are in my source, which is my development database. I have two records that are in my target, which is my test database, and I have four records that are identical. As I click through the different record, the differences are shown in bold. You can see that I added a postfix to my zip code for this record. For the uh, records that are only in my source, I can see all the data that I'm going to add. When I update my target, I don't want to delete any of the records, so I'm going to uncheck the update so that I don't delete those records. Now if I want to see what the script is going to be that will be applied to my target database, I can click Generate Script, and it'll show me that it's going to update this one record, 
and it's going to insert two additional records into my target database. You can notice that since I unchecked the update for the deletion, it does not actually delete the records from my target database. Back in Data Compare, I can click Update Target, say yes. It says that one table was updated. I'm going to compare again. And now you can see that I have seven identical records because of the update, and I still have the two records that are only in my target. As you can see, Schema and Data Compare give you an incredibly powerful and flexible visual tool set to quickly see differences between your database environments and to allow you to choose what objects and data to update. This pair of database comparison tools in Visual Studio 2013, whether used as an integrated part of your development process or ad hoc, provide capabilities to easily accomplish real-world administration and development tasks.